Hey, hello guys, this is Kathik from executeautomation.com and this is part 5 of our Appium with C Sharp video series. And in this part, we're going to talk about working with the web applications using Appium. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 4 since this part will have some continuation of that part. Alright, so working with web applications. So uh, let's start automating the mobile browser using Appium. So for doing that, we need to first change the desired capabilities that we have already written in part four. And we need to identify the controls of the web applications UI. And then we need to start writing the code for that particular applications. So again, we have already discussed about working with the web applications and automating that web application using Appium with the Java. But in Appium with C Sharp, we're going to do the same exact thing. And you can see that there will be little minor code changes will happen here and there. Like there will be some changes in the mobile compatibility type. So there is no uh, mobile compatibility type like browser. And there won't be like driver.get where here it is like driver.navigate.go to URL. So it's the pretty small minor changes. So if you just make these kind of changes, then your code is very good to go. So let's not waste our time on flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same project which we worked in part four of this series and we automated a calculator application, right? So right now we're gonna automate the web application. So web application will basically run in a browser, right? So here we can see that the mobile compatibility type dot app package is there for the calculator application. So we're not going to use any app packages. So let's delete this. And then let's say in the Java automation with Appium, what we did is like we just tried to put dot and set the browser. But you can see that there is no such enumeration value for browser available. Rather, we need to choose what is called as app. And here, instead of the calculator, you need to type what is called as browser. So this will tell Appium that we are going to work with the browser of the Android operating system, right? So we'll just save this code. And then we are not going to deal any of these codes. So I'm just going to comment these codes out. Oops, maybe control KC to comment the code. All right. And then I'm going to do is a navigating to the web application to perform the operation. So for doing that, just type driver dot navigate. So this is the method to navigate to a URL. And there is one more method dot go to URL. So if you just pass the URL here, like www.google.com, and this will open the google.com website into the page, right? We already know what is the object identification for the search box and the search button. So the search box name is going to be Q and the button name is BTNG. So I'm not going to again open the browser and show you all those classical things which you guys already know. So I'm not going to touch all those things. Rather, I'm directly going to start writing the code. So driver dot, oops, driver dot find element by name. So this will identify the control with its name and the search text box name is going to be Q. And then I'm going to send keys of execute automation, right? So this is for searching oops, in the text box. And then I need to click the button. So for doing that, again, I'm going to do driver dot find element by name. And I'm going to pass the name as PTNG dot click and this will click the button right so simple it is so i'm going to save this code and then let me quickly run this code and show you how it works so i have already opened the appium and the emulator 
in a different desktop of my same machine so it's up and running now let's try to run and see how things work so i'm just going to run this test and let's go to the desktop and you can see that the test is just running and the page is still loading and that's the reason that it is not typing anything so let me just stop this uh, loading so that it will perform the rest of the operation so if i stop this and you can see that it's typing the execute automation and also it clicked the search button right so now our intended operation is performed so now our test is passed and you can see in the test explorer that the test method got passed so this is the way that we can perform the operation of running the test using appium with c sharp in a browser of android so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day